Good morning. Sadly, it's our last day in Marrakesh, so we're about to head upstairs to enjoy our final breakfast at this Riyadh, which is a real shame because they have been incredible. <laughs> They didn't forget about the rest. No, they did not. So we're all packed up and about to leave the hotel so that we can go to the station. We booked a hotel close to the airport in Casablanca because we have an early flight tomorrow morning. So yeah, we're there. We're going to grab a taxi to the station and we've got a couple of trains ahead of us in order to get us there. So let's get going. Saying goodbye to all the stray kittens, but we're going back home to ours. Time to get a taxi, let's hope we get a good price. which is something we haven't actually had, so that's nice. Then, as you walk in, you have huge space, really big bed, and they've given us coffee and tea for the morning, waters, and also these lovely treats. Another nice touch is that they've given us a cha TV channel list, mini fridge, and a really good view. You can see the pool which we're gonna go and take a dip in very shortly. <laughs> we haven't really been in a pool for since I can remember no it's definitely been years yeah it's been a while it's been a while anyway last night when we were out in Marrakesh we saw this stand and they were selling mixed Moroccan pastries it was a box for 50 dirham so we we're like you know what let's do a taste test and so without further ado this is the box Ta-da! and well these are all of the pastries. So we are going to share them between ourselves and just give you a go. But like we kind of went into this and they didn't really explain well exactly what any of these are. So we don't really have any clue what we're eating. We're just gonna try it blind and see what happens. Exactly, and don't judge us 
for the gluttony you're about to witness. That is going to be glorious. <laughs> okay. This is squishy. I'm weird with textures. It looks like this. That's kind of chocolatey. Like a date. It kind of has like a tough exterior. Mm. Not like super tough, but tougher than the inside. It's like a date has just been mashed up and stuffed on the inside. Let's go for this one. So it looks like cookie with coconut shavings. So more or less what I thought, the standard cookie, but it's got a little, little bit of coconut over the top. So that's really nice. Just like shortbread. Well, nothing crazy. It's just nice. The next one we're going to try looks like this. It has this date chocolatey looking snowflake. It's very sticky. Like I think there's honey on the outside. Oh my God. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Interesting. This has my favorite filling from a pastry we tried in Fez. It has like a peanut filling. And you love your peanut butter. Let's try it. Oh my God. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, still trying to figure out exactly what's on the top of it. Yeah. Might be some kind of like anise type flavor. Delicious. Let's try this one, which seems to be kind of in a similar fashion. It's kind of sticky on the outside, so I think it's coated with honey. Let's give it a go. Mm hmm. It's like the figs or dates in the middle. It's kind of like the light equivalent of the dark one that we just tried. Yeah, I think it's that same pastry with the same like date or fig or whatever filling mm -hmm. on the inside. I feel like this is kind of cheating because <laughs> we were offered these at the hammam yesterday and it's just a little biscotti. So we know what this is. Mm -hmm. But still very nice nonetheless. Kind of halfway between like a, a biscotti that we would know and like just a piece of shortbread. So it's good stuff. So we got this one. It's kind of in a crescent shape. So not sure what's inside. Might be like nuts or something. From the looks of things. So here's go. here goes nothing. Mm. It looks like the peanut filling. I don't think it's peanuts. Oh. But I think it's almonds. So it's still delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like the peanut filling better, mm. but that's really good too. Oh, okay. I'm looking at this now close. It comes in a little paper cup thing and it looks like it has chocolate on top, all an almond or peanut base. That's dangerous. <laughs> Oh my god. This is like a Moroccan Reese's. Mm. Oh my god, that's divine. Mm -hmm. It might be filled, not sure. But... Yeah. Oh, nice. Lightly dusted with sugar. Again, kind of like a shortbread. Pretty harmless. I like this one better than the one with coconut just because like, I'm not the hugest fan mm. of coconut. And yeah. this is a little bit more plain. It's really nice. It is. Okay. Oh, looking at the edge of it, I can see the filling. Probably gonna like this. Okay. So it has a red flower and it has that filling again. Probably gonna love this. decide if this is almond or peanut. Doesn't matter. It's great. <laughs> it almost like that's mixed nut, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe it's peanut and almond. Yeah. The impression I'm getting from these is that they're basically made out of the same type of pastry with either a date or nut filling, just in various shapes. In certain cases, have the honey coating on the outside, which makes it a little bit better. Um, but if it's not going to be kind of like a pastry type thing, then it would be more like Kind of just a standard biscuit like a shortbread i think we're gonna save the rest for later yep. because they're along the same vein like if you look in the box here you have like a similar 
type of cookie left, maybe just with a topping or even the pastry is the same. It has like one of the fillings we mentioned before. So I think we're gonna pause. For now. For days young, we'll see. But yeah, this was a solid investment and certainly a really nice way to kind of look into how the Moroccans do kind of sweet things. So yeah, it's a good time. So I think we're just gonna chill in our hotel room, maybe watch some YouTube. Yep. And uh, just relax. Yeah, we've got a big day of travel ahead tomorrow, so. Hopefully it's not as eventful as coming here. Oh God, yeah, fingers crossed. But um, yeah, let's see how things go. Yeah. Well, last night in this hotel, we opted not to go for like a big extravagant dinner in one of the hotel restaurants, uh, just because we fancied saving a little bit of money, but still enjoy some really good food. So we planned ahead and we went back to that same place where we got those amazing 20 dirham sandwiches in the Marrakesh Medina last night. We went back to them, we ordered four, yes, four, so that we could have one each for lunch and also one each for dinner. And so with that, I have another delicious chicken sandwich which we are going to enjoy and then we'll eat the remainder of what's in that sweet box. So, here's to you. Mm. After a not so busy day, I'm actually feeling quite exhausted. I don't know why. My hair needs like some serious help, but there was no shampoo or conditioner here. So it's going to have to wait till we get home. No, meanwhile, I'm just feeling a little bit tired. And considering the fact that we've got to be at the airport for about 9.30 to check in for our flight, then, yeah, probably seems about the right sort of time to hit the hay. So with that, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. But uh, until then, take care. And keep smiling.